Okay, let's get back at it. I took a slight break because I was getting tired of doing this. Look at, look at all this that I've done. Yeah, just this afternoon after scraping that floor, I want to show you now how I get up against the wall there. Got to get my gloves here back on. I'm all greasy, but hey, this is what you're going to have to do if you want to get this floor done. Up against the wall, you'll see there's some white paint along there because there used to be some quarter round that went on there before the glue there, so the glue doesn't to go all the way up to the wall. And I'm using my secret weapon, WD-40, and that's just going to break up the, the tar mastic. I've got just a little brush, the same type of brush I'm using with that on the tip and on the side here. And see, I can take some of the excess and go right over the paint. Like that, kind of blend it in. Now some of this is going to get onto the baseboard, you see there? I want to get this out far enough so I can start using my other brush. I can rub that with my hand to see how well it's, it's eating up the tar. I've got a uh, sponge here and I can clean off the excess there and that looks pretty good up along there. I've got some cleaner here. And this stuff is oily, it's a grease. Now, and see, it's not coming off the base, but if I brush it, it's going to loosen it up enough to then be able to be rinsed off. And I can have my cleaner. Uh, this is this is a cleaner you might not be able to get, but it's a concentrated cleaner. You can use simple green. You can use orange oil cleaner. And see that just wiped it off. And that's fine. The cleaner can come off like that. Now I can take my my WD-40, and I've got a mat here I'm leaning, I'm resting on here, kneeling down on, and I'm just going to go as far as I can reach. I'm not going to go out too far. Just take my WD-40 on here. That's going to break that up. Get that out of the way. And I've been on this floor a couple hours. I just scrub a dub dub like this. So after a while, you know, you're going to be tired of doing it this way with two hands. And your wrist right here is going to get sore. The palm of your hand is going to get sore. So after a while, of doing it that way, you're going to have to do it with one hand. And you can do it with one hand because this WD-40 is eating this up. And I've got a mask on to try to protect myself from the fumes of the WD-40. And I've got a ceiling fan on to add a little fan down here. I've got a three inch putty knife. And I just kind of use that to go over this area. And then I'll go back over it with this to try to get out some more of the line from the glue line. I see a little bit right here. 
I'm going to use two hands. See, I don't want to reach out any further than that. I'll get tired after a while doing that. And it's not good on your back if you got to reach too far. Okay. So I can only apply as much force with one hand as I can. And then I'm going to take my sponge and wipe it off and see what I see what I have left. Okay. And at this point, I'm going to take more WD-40. And it's surprising how much this will, how much more will come off with the same amount of effort after I get that one bit off there. You can see how it's already eating it up, whatever's left on here. And I just sprayed it right here. So I'm just going to concentrate right here. See what I got. Ah, somebody's got music on in the other room. Okay, I'm just going to do it right in here. Same amount of pressure, and now I've got it. Okay, right there, and now. I'm just going to spray some more on here and keep her going. If I didn't have this WD-40, the other portion of the room, I didn't find out this trick until after. I wasn't thinking when I did half of this room. I should have been thinking, wow, hey, I could do that with WD-40. After I got half the room done, I was thinking, man, what can I do to make it go quicker? I thought, hey, I'll try the WD-40. Because whenever I got black tar on my hands from doing a roof patch or something, I remembered I would take WD-40 and wipe on my, my three-inch putty knife. I just did a, a roof patch, and I got it all nice and clean by using my WD-40. Now I'm just going to wipe on there, and that looks pretty good. I'll slide myself up here and go some more. I want to look on the floor. When I do this, if I leave a little bit of black on here, then I would have to do the whole floor about the same because I want everything to blend in. I don't necessarily have to take every single little black edge off. See, here's a little black piece there, and that's that's a little depression in the concrete, and I'm going to choose to leave that. I've got a couple little specks on here. And once I wipe off the excess, doesn't this area here look nice? Look at that. It looks like on a concrete subfloor, I put some stain on there. Looks like I've got two different colors of stain on there. And it's it's all just this masking. This is tar masking. I'll wipe that off and see what I got. Wow, that's looking good. I've got just, just a hair on there, hardly anything. And this, this sponge is saturated. I've got lots of stuff on here. And see up against the, the wall, if I want to put some more stain on there, I can. And kind of push it over there with my fingers. You know, then if I get any on the base, I've got to clean it off and see, it usually doesn't wipe off until I get a brush on there. 
and clean it. So I'll take a look at this later. I'm still going to have to do more to this floor. I'm liking this floor, by the way. And I can take, I can wipe off more, rinse this sponge out, and I've got different colors on here. And I'm not going to really worry about it too much just yet. I'm just going to keep concentrating on moving up here and doing this next bit right here. Okay, so I'm going to take some WD-40 here, and that's going to take this mastic, this tar business right off. That's why I needed to scrape off that top layer of the glue, the mastic. Had I not taken that off, I'd have to rub on this and rub on it and then wipe off the excess and rub some more. I'd have to do it, you know, three times as much because I didn't scrape it off here first. If you didn't watch that video, you need to watch that on how to use a floor scraper and how to remove black mastic with a floor scraper. And I use different floor scrapers for that. If you wear a shirt, you're going to find out it's going to get saturated and you know, after just a little while, because you're going to start sweating like a pig when you do this. Don't turn the air conditioner on, because any of this smell, it's not, this smell's not that bad, but any of that smell is then going to be taken through the house. I mean, you're really not going to want that. You can open up a window. I'm just getting some, I want, it, I want this wide enough so that I can start using this without getting it on the, on the wall after I rinse it off, okay? Got a window propped open. Okay, that's looking good there. Now I can take my cleaner. This stuff is called Energy Plus, but I don't know if you can get that at the store or not. But simple green and orange oil concentrate will work just as well or something like that. Now see, that stuff is like grease, so that's why I have to use the brush on it too. It kind of opens the pores so that then I can get the excess here. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.